Andreas, can you tell me a little bit about um, your energetics workshop that's a two-day workshop, is that right? Yeah, it's actually a two-day workshop. In, um, I did it differently when I worked with the groups that I worked in. I was in a certain area for a period of time. We did it totally different. We said we work one week with one theme, but now we that I'm so much on travel, I cannot be there for four or five weeks. So we said we bring it into a two-day workshop and people can learn to really work on certain energy systems in the body as they are, for example, the meridians. So you learn to understand the meridian flow, you learn how to balance your meridians and also learn certain exercises to stretch meridians so that they are totally open and you, you are not feeling any limitations in your body any longer. We got to understand our meridian system is the energy system in our body that has the lowest vibration but it has tremendous impact also certainly sometimes on pain structures. So the moment we balance them and the kidney meridian has enough energy and the heart meridian has enough energy and they're balanced in one level, everything functions just fine. And we also balance our teeth in the, in the workshop because a lot of people have pulled teeth and every tooth is going through a meridian. We want to have them reconnected so that our heart and everything is working. This is what we do in the meridian uh, exercises and it's actually a lot of joy. It gives you a possibility within 15 minutes in the morning to balance yourself for the whole day. That's just what we do with the meridian stretching. Actually, this information is available worldwide, but uh, it is good to teach it because people just want to come into balance. How many meridians are there in our body? If we look at meridians and chakra points, we have thousands of them, but we want to work just with the 14 main meridians that we, we have. I mean, when we talk about the chakras, for example, every acupuncture point out of Chinese medicine is a chakra point. They're tiny little chakras. They're standing everywhere. Our eyes have little chakras here. Our ears have certain chakras and everything can be set back in alignment. But I think when we work with the main structure, and make sure that the main structure is working and are very aware about our thought and feeling patterns, we can balance almost everything already. So why go into so much depth that we will never understand because no one of us has the time to study 10 years or 12 years of Chinese medicine right now. Oh. And I see that you teach uh, old Germanic rune exercises. What are those? Yeah, old Germanic rune exercises is really a very, very interesting thing. Um, I learned them from one of my teachers in Germany and they are so powerful. This is uh, an exercise like isometric exercises where we stand into the posture of the rune and we begin to hum and activate a certain chakra. Now they help to integrate and synchronize the brain hemispheres. Now this is uh, something that can even break up very old emotional patterns and energetic patterns. So we have about eight different rune exercise standing or positions where we stand in and we use them and we do them, hold them for about two to three minutes. It depends on what chakra and what, what exercise we do and how much strength we have. It's almost like isometric yoga in a certain way, how the old um, druids have done this to you know, synchronize their energies and everything. Very powerful tool. And also in the energetics workshop, you. You talk about chi energy? I'm talking about chi energy in the energetic workshops. So we play already, we want to understand what this principle of chi prana is and how it works in our body and we begin already to breathe with it. We begin to integrate it into our structure but still if it comes to chi the bandwidth of teaching is so much more and to go into the real chi work I highly recommend the Project Consciousness seminars because they are really powerful. They're, you learn things you would have never dreamed about because to come really into your power, if some, if a strong guy is holding you, if you're a small woman and you easily break the grip because you integrate the chi within your, within your consciousness or you come back totally in alignment, even if there is a total distraction outside of you, this is just a very big difference. In the energetics workshop, we play with chi for a period of time to get the basic understanding. But in project consciousness, we really go into the depth. So another major 
area in the energetics workshop is to talking about spin and nadis. Yeah, we have a certain body spin. Our body likes to vibrate in a certain direction. And the moment we are confronted with the spin in a different direction, our body reacts with slower metabolism, with pain, sometimes with really, hmm, it can really build up pain structures or even chronic sickness in a way. So we want to learn what is behind the spin and how we can free our body to get into the right spin again. So that is one part and nadis are actually energy spirals through our body that steer our body temperature and other things and we can use them very powerful to feel much more balanced. That's a very good thing too. Let's talk a little bit about stress. What means stress in everyday life? Hmm. If we take it for real, stress is always there the moment our consciousness is not in the body. If I think about later, if I think about tomorrow, if I think about yesterday, our body is always in stress. And what happens automatically, and this is one of the major problems, is that our brain frequencies are rising. So we go into a beta state, and in a beta state, only a part of our brain of this four-dimensional hologram of universal intelligence is working. So when we learn to go deeper and go out of stress, we are actually connecting with a, f with a full spectrum of four-dimensional intelligence. And actually this is what an intuitive uses to see, feel, hear in different dimensions. To be there with all their senses so that they can be so empathic and mirror back what the people need. And uh, in our seminars, you actually learn how to synchronize your brain hemispheres much, much more. We can say you come almost into the point that you can do intuitive work in your own way. I do my work in my very own way because I worked since 15 years in this area and I developed my hmm, modus operandi, we can say. But you can learn then to create your own. And I think this is beautiful if we can really see where our powers on a spiritual energetic level are. So this makes a lot of sense too to be very playful with that. And the fun part is it is actually sandbox level. It is not that it's so complicated how many many people teach it. It is totally simple. The things, the pretty simple things, they work. This is universal law. There are spiritual laws. They are totally simple to to obtain and to maintain and to enter into. But you gotta know them. If you know them, life is getting easier. <laughs>